Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd, hello and welcome to Ort Online. A few days ago, a video popped up on YouTube that had me very excited. Excited in the way I was when I first played Minecraft all those years ago. Excited in the way I was excited when I first booted up Cube World. The video was from Wonderstruck, a UK games developer, and it was introducing us to Ort Online. Now, Ord Online is effectively an MMORPG set in a sandbox world made up of distorted blocks in which you can fight, build, craft, and survive. With this video here, I was originally planning on sitting down and writing a script to explain exactly what needs explained in the best way that I can. Instead, I'm going to tell you the honest truth, and this is where my tiny script has run out. Now, Ord Online is, in my opinion, potentially a huge game. It has the potential to overthrow Minecraft if done properly, and if people give it the chance that they gave to Minecraft. Let's not forget that Minecraft back in the day was funded by the fact that people purchased it so early, and it became popular because... Well, YouTubers were willing to give it a bit of a chance, streamers were willing to give it a bit of a chance, and it went insanely well on forums. I'm not saying that that's exactly what we need to do with Ort Online. I'm saying that I believe people should give it a chance because it is honestly the most charming game I have ever played. And this isn't me trying to justify my purchase of the game, you might notice I haven't even mentioned the cost of the game yet, or anything like that. We'll get to that at the end. This isn't me trying to justify my purchase, because I'm fully aware that funding a game, or partially funding a game, or even buying into early access is a gamble. You might never get a completed product. I'm hoping I do with Ort Online, not because I want to feel justified in my purchase, but because I want this game. This is something I've wanted for quite some time. I've wanted a fun, charming, easy, friendly, sandbox MMORPG where I could do all the things that I could do in Minecraft and Cube World and games like that, and I believe Ort Online has the potential to be that. Now, you might be able to notice that the game isn't quite finished just yet. And you might be able to notice that it's not running all that well. The frame rate isn't all that amazing, but I should point out that this isn't a beta, this isn't an alpha, this is a prototype pre-alpha. This is browser-based, there isn't even a client yet. They are working on a client, they have openly stated that they're working on a client and performance and all that stuff, but it takes time and it takes money. Ort Online has been getting worked on for the last six months and isn't really estimated to be released until late next year. This is where we're going to talk money. We're not going to talk in depth about it, I'll just tell you what the various uh, purchase tiers are, roughly what they'll get you and how much they are. So the first, per the first tier is the Pathfinder, that'll get you a bunch of stuff, it will get you entered to win instant access and you get that with a tweet. You don't get access to the game, you get a chance to win it. The Trailblazer pack will get you a key on launch day, that's $15, it will be $25 at launch. The Explorer pack will get you access to the beta, that is estimated mid-2015, and that is $25. The Adventurer pack will get you alpha access and a launch game key, and is currently at $50, you're actually saving $25 on that, that is estimated at early 2015. The Wayfarer pack, which is the one I purchased, gets you instant access, a launch game key, and you get that today for $95. Pioneer will get you two instant access keys, four launch, uh, launch game keys, and you get it today for $250. The Master tier will get you four instant access keys, eight launch day keys, and that is $1,000. And the Ortician tier will get you 8 instant access keys, 30 launch day keys, 
and that is $5,000. Of course, there are a lot of perks with each tier. It's not just that. For example, the $5,000 one gets you access to a world builder and a monthly Skype call with the developer team. But let's get into why I believe Ort Online is worth your time. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and sit here and sell a product to you. It's not really in my best interests to sell you this product. But I want people to give the game a chance. Even if you only spend 15 bucks to get the game late next year or $25 to get it mid next year, maybe you spend 50 dollars to get it early next year. I believe it's worth it because even in this unfinished, poorly performing, buggy state that the game is in, even with it being in browser, I am constantly having fun with this. It's charming, it's silly, it's interesting. There is so much to explore. And it's just the beginning. It's an MMO in the sense that you're always online. Getting from world to world, you go through a portal, but you also go to a new server. Your friends might be in a different world to you when you spawn, that's fine. You go get some stuff, you get your portal, and you go to their world. It's as simple as that. It is an adventure. It's an MMO adventure game. It's an MMORPG. It looks brilliant. It People are saying it looks like Minecraft with shaders. I think it looks better than Minecraft with shaders. I think Minecraft looks stupid with shaders. Minecraft shaders are always trying to make the game look really realistic. The shaders in Ort Online are actually tailored to making the game look better. Not realistic, just nice. And pleasant. And pretty. And good looking. The whole thing, as incomplete as it is, is so, so charming. And I really believe it deserves your attention. Even if you're not convinced on helping to fund it, you can get entered to win instant access. So go to ortonline.com. You can tweet out a link and the fact that you're willing to support it and you might get instant access. You might get someone else to buy the game. You might get someone else to help fund it. I want to see this game complete. I want to play a completed version of Ort Online. I want to see it through its development process and enjoy it. It's just so charming and fun. And I hope that we'll actually get to see this complete because I do genuinely believe that it deserves it. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. There will be several links in the description below that you can check out for more information on Ort Online. Once again, that is ortonline.com. You can find a lot of information there. Give it a shot. You might not regret it. I know I'm not. I'll see you next time.